Now that the Mueller report has declared that there was no collusion, the Trump administration is flying high. These guys are in such a good mood right now. Trump is smiling everywhere he goes. Sarah Huckabee Sanders is doing her version of smiling. <laughs> and Stephen Miller was even spotted out on the town with a new girlfriend. Yeah, I... <laughs> I know, I can't believe that that monster is dating Momo. <laughs> and when it comes to policy, the administration is totally unleashed. They're just doing whatever they want right now. For instance, they're trying to kill Obamacare again. Breaking overnight, the Trump administration now says the entire Affordable Care Act is illegal and should be struck down in court. That's a dramatic shift from previous statements when the Justice Department argued only part of Obamacare was illegal. The Republican Party will soon be known as the party of health care. You, you, you know, only Trump could brag about being the party of health care while he's trying to kill it. You know, it's like saying your wedding vows while you're making out with a bridesmaid, you know? <laughs> and seriously, these guys do not care. Because first, Republicans took away the health care mandates, right? Now, they're trying to take away all the health care protections. Soon, they're just gonna come out against health in general. Trump is just gonna be like, new program, folks, we're giving everyone measles. <laughs> because if everyone has measles, no one has measles. Think about it, folks, think about it. <laughs> And now you might say, yeah, but Trevor, Trump always hated Obamacare. This is just politics. All right, maybe so. But that doesn't explain this. Now to that Capitol Hill grilling, Education Secretary Betsy DeVos faced over her department's proposed budget cuts, including a call to slash all federal funding from the Special Olympics. Wisconsin Democratic Congressman Mark Pocan pushing DeVos, asking whether DeVos knew how many children would be affected by the elimination of Special Olympics funding. We had to make some okay. difficult decisions with this budget. Again, this is a question of how many kids, not about the budget. I don't know the number okay. of kids. It's 272,000 that kids. That's all. I'll answer it for you. That's okay. No problem. I like how he said that with a smile, but that was a super asshole thing to do. <laughs> oh, no, no, it's fine. I'll answer it for you. I'll answer it for you. I'll answer it for you. But I understand why he's so angry. I mean, the Trump administration is cutting federal funding from the Special Olympics. That just sounds mean, right? Because here's the thing. The $18 million that they're gonna save isn't even that much money for a government. It's actually what the government spends for Trump to visit Mar-a-Lago five times. Yeah, that's it. The same amount of money. So at the very least, you could compromise on this issue. Send the kids to Mar-a-Lago <laughs> and make Donald run for once in his life. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, everybody wins. <laughs> and as if that wasn't mean enough, President Scrooge McDuck is now saying <laughs> that he thinks Puerto Rico has been getting too much money for hurricane disaster relief. Yeah, so in four days, Trump has gone after sick people, special needs kids, and hurricane victims. I feel like right now, baby seals are like, well, well we had a good run, folks. <laughs> <laughs> For more on this issue of Trump being a total asshole, we're joined now by a man who proudly has the word asshole on his resume, Michael Costa, everybody. <laughs> Michael. I'm at a loss for words, man. Yeah. What do you make of this situation? It's so disappointing and so depressing. Shh, 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 shh. Hush, you're crying, my sweet Trevor, okay? You're looking at this the wrong way. What you're witnessing is President Trump in all his post Mueller awesomeness. The Russia investigation was a dark cloud hanging over him, but now the sun is out, spring is here, and Trump is a douchebag bumblebee sipping the sweet nectar of total exoneration. <laughs> okay, so stop, stop that. Your lips look weird. Oh, right. <laughs> Here's what I don't understand. You said totally exonerated, mm. but Robert Mueller's report specifically said Trump was not totally exonerated. Like, you're sounding like Jussie Smollett right now. Oh, yeah? And, and where is Jussie Smollett right now? Living as a free man, thanks to Robert Mueller. Wait, what? <laughs> Mueller had nothing to do with that. Oh, I'm sorry. Did you read the Mueller report? Did you get a sneak peek? No, well, but... Well, then but... shut those dimples tight, okay? Because <laughs> until it's released, the Mueller report exonerates Trump from anything he says it does. It gives him total freedom. And it's not just for Trump. It gives us all the go-ahead to do whatever we want, you know? Hmm. <laughs> no, don't, don't encourage him. Don't encourage him. No, cost... Costa, you please, dude, you can't drink alcohol at work. Don't tell me what to do, work dad, all right? <laughs> I, 
Plus, don't worry, it's non-alcoholic, okay? Heineken, zero, zero. Now you can. <laughs> wait, wait, hold, hold up, hold up. Did you just do a beer ad in the middle of my show? <laughs> Yeah, and I'm keeping all the profits because the Mueller report said I can. No, dude, the Mueller report didn't say that. Oh, did you read it in the last five seconds, huh? No, I didn't. No, oh, I, I didn't. That's what you sound like. <laughs> hey, do your, do your dimples ever, like, switch, you know? <laughs> if they go in on the outside, do they go out on the inside? <laughs> What? Costa, if that, if that beer's non-alcoholic, why are you acting so weird, man? Well, I may have been huffing some paint earlier, which <laughs> you're not supposed to do, but, you know, Mueller said it's cool. 